Arab Lord. That in the midst of these times, they would be a model for the world. Lord, that persecution of the church can bring us together, God. But Lord, we acknowledge our dependence upon you. We acknowledge that we can't do this on our own, Lord. We, your people, have gone astray. We've looked elsewhere, Lord. Only you can revive our hearts. Only you can change the mind of those who seem lost. Only you can bring revival to the revivalists. We're asking you, Lord, to do what only you can do. We're asking you, Lord, to walk among us. We're asking you, Lord, to be a part of your people once again, Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, do what only you can do and restore your people as well. Revive them, Lord, from the dead. Reconcile them to your heart, Lord. to you in the midst of persecution Lord let them find you find the depth of your love for them turn back to you turn back to you Lord as they see your love breathe into them Lord bring back life from the dead in the name of Yeshua in the name of Yeshua our Messiah Lord bring back life from the dead
cycle we'll be praying, continuing praying for revival, for the bride of Christ to walk in humility, obedience, and full of love. Matthew 22, 37. Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. In Ephesians 3, 17. That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. That you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Father, tonight we lift up the bride of Christ to you. Father, much of the bride of Christ Father has even has either fallen away or has turned away. Father, tonight we call back, Father, the bride of Christ, to walk in humility, to walk in obedience, and to walk fully in love with you. Father, you desire us to love you with all of our heart, soul, mind. Father, everything within us, every part of our being, who we are, you desire for us to love you. Father, we confess, Father, that our eyes, Father, have turned to other things. Father, we have strayed from our first love. And Father, we repent, we confess, Father, that, Father, we can't do this on our own. Father, our thoughts are consumed by by other things, Father, worries, Father, anxieties, things of the world, Father, we desire for our mind and our thoughts to be fixed on you, our first love. This is our true desire of our hearts, the true desire of our hearts, Father, is to be more like you, to love like you love, to walk in perfectly humility like Jesus walked before you, before he walked, before his father, and as he walked on the earth, full humility, as a God-man, Father, we need you to walk in this humility before you and before man. Father, we ask that you forgive us for our selfishness, where we put ourselves before you where we've thought more about ourselves than we've thought about others. Lord, forgive us. Father, we desire, we truly desire, the bride of Christ desires to walk in sincere obedience to you, sincere devotion to you. Father, you're so worthy of our hearts. You're worthy of our entire heart. Father, you're worthy of a full abandonment of love to you. You are so worthy of all. You're worthy of all. Father, will you root us and ground us in your love? Father, would you woo us with, with showing us, with allowing us to go into the depths of your love, to the height and the width and the length of your love, so that we will be so fully in love with you that our eyes will become dove's eyes. Dove's eyes for you. And that we would overflow with a love onto others. That we will put others before ourselves. Bring us back to our first love. Bring us back. Father, we return to you full-heartedly, wholeheartedly. We return.
turn to you. So, Father, will you root us and ground us in such love that we will walk in full obedience?
I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Father, may this be the bride of Christ's desire. May this be the bride of Christ, Father, what is on our heart. Father, that we would desire you, that we will seek you, Father, all the days of our lives. Father, that we would want nothing more than to dwell in your house. Father, we're asking, Father, will you give us this desire to be in your house all the days of our lives? Father, we want to behold your beauty. Father, that our eyes would be fixed upon you and your beauty. Father, as we look at the sunrise, as we look at the sunset, Father, the beauty of your creation. Father, we're asking, Father, will you consume us? Will you consume us so that your bride will be fully abandoned to you? Father, that your bride will be fully submitted to you. Father, we're asking, Father, will you, Father, woo us by your beauty? Father, will you capture our hearts by who you are and your beauty? Father, that we would just desire you, only you. Father, that we would live lives and wholly devoted to you. Father, that we would have no offense to you. Father, that we would have no offense. Father, that we would only want to obey you. Father, we ask for the grace. Father, to walk a life worthy of who you are, who you've called us to be, the bride of Christ walking in pure obedience. Father, the spotless bride that you've called, that you've desired. Father, we want to walk in this day and in this hour a bride, white, spotless, blameless. Father, this bride that you're waiting for, Father, let this be the day, let this be the hour. Father, where your bride says yes to you, I will do what you have desired. I will do what you've asked. I will walk in full obedience. I will walk in relationship. I will love you with all of my heart, mind, soul, and strength. I will. We will. So, Father, let this be our one thing, that we desire about you above all things above all people, above all things, that we desire you and only you. So, Father, we're asking tonight, will you show us your beauty so that you will capture our hearts and that we will chase after no other lovers. God, show us your beauty. Show us your glory. We ask, we pray in Jesus' name.
praying now for a victorious end time church praying from Colossians 1 9 through 11 we pray that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding that you may have a walk worthy of the Lord fully pleasing him being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God strengthened with all might according to his glorious power with all patience and long suffering with joy God we come before you tonight and we lift your church the bride of Christ across the nations of the earth in this hour Lord we live in troubled times and you desire to bring forth you will bring forth the bride of, that is victorious a church walking in victory before the coming of the Lord and I'm asking you in our day God to draw her near to you that you would fill her with the knowledge of your will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding that God she would increase in the knowledge of God that she would pursue deep intimacy with you she would give herself fully to the pursuit of the knowledge of God she would be hungry to know you a church a bride longing for a bridegroom a church God walking in deep intimacy with you Fill her with the knowledge of your will, God. Lord, we live in a day where your church needs understanding, living understanding of what you're saying, what you see, what you think, what you feel. As you look upon her, as you look upon the chaos of the earth, we ask you to release wisdom from on high. Father, we ask you to pour forth your wisdom living understanding that you would bring forth the victorious church leaning into you not in her own strength not in her own understanding that you would bring her forth from human understanding into living understanding of your heart God Lord we look to you we're asking you to do this in our day God, we're asking you to bring her to the place where she will sit at your feet. She will seek your plans, your instructions. That she will only be obedient to what you're saying. That she will move beyond man's programs. She will only do what you're asking of her. God, you will give her understanding of this hour. That you want great impact on the earth you want the knowledge of your will poured forth we're asking you tonight God to hear our cry would you raise up a church in victory a church that walks worthy of you God a church that pleases you a bride in love with you tonight oh God we're asking you strengthen her Bring her forth, that she would pursue you night and day. We're asking you to fill her with the knowledge of your will. In Jesus' name.
open her eyes to your nature, to your character, to the beauty of Jesus. Let her see you rightly, God. With the knowledge of God. With the knowledge of God. With the knowledge of you. Fill it with the knowledge of God. With the knowledge of God. With the knowledge of you. Open her eyes. Pursue you, God. in every good work that she would not be slothful in zeal but she would be fervent in spirit serving you night and day not shrinking back God but strengthened with all might to pray to pursue you to seek your face grant her human grant her your wisdom God to know your plans and your purposes in this hour. To prepare, prepare the way for the soon and coming King. Lord, we look to you. Let her increase in who you are. And as she is in strengthened in the inner man, God, that she would serve you and not shrink back. But she would give herself wholly unto you, God. Grant her your glorious power, the power that dwells within her, God. That she would be patient and long-suffering with joy. God, we look to you. Bring forth a bride that would be strengthened in intimacy with you. Bring her into living understanding of who you are. That you desire her. You long for her. You learn, long for those that will give themselves unto you fully. Laid down lovers, surrendered unto you. Wholehearted lovers. Father, I ask you for this church, this bride. Grant her a vision of who you are. That would cause her to multiply in her pursuit. God, you desire a church in victory, fruitful, increasing in knowledge, strengthened with all might, that she would stand in this hour of persecution. This darkness is increasing on the earth. Your light will abound more and more. Strengthen her. Awaken her to the residing power within God. We look to you. God, bring forth the church. Hungry and thirsty for the living God. To know him, to make his name known. A bride that will worship you in spirit and in truth. A bride yoked up with you in partnership to even give herself unto death to see the gospel go to the ends of the earth Lord bring forth a church in power a church of love a church of prayer and mission that will see your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven we ask you tonight God to hear our cry Bring forth a victorious church. In the name of Jesus, let her walk worthy before you, God.
testimony of Jesus. Go forth through her God. Then go. Father, we ask you that your church would burn. That your light would shine forth. Bring forth the peculiar people, God. That would cause multitudes to say, what kind of people are these? Bring forth a generation, God. That knows you. They know your heart. They go forth, God, demonstrate the heart of the Father. Lord, we ask you tonight to revive your church. Bring her to life, God. Let the dead bones rise. Let us hear the clicking all across the earth, God. The sound of bones coming together. Put your flesh upon her, God, and let her come forth and let her live. Raise her up in this hour, God, that she would be a burning, shining lamp in this generation. Bring this one, God, that will go forth blameless, walking in patience, long-suffering, one unoffended, one who has been captivated by your heart. One who gives herself unto you night and day. One that will go forth with you, God. Running through the hills and the valleys. Through the cities of the earth. The nations. To see your kingdom come on earth. God, bring forth this church. Prepare in this hour for what is to come. A church of fire that will give herself unto you fully. That regardless of what comes to the earth, she will not shrink back. She will rise up as a forerunner to the coming of the Lord Jesus. So God, we are asking you tonight, God, to revive your church across the city and the cities of the earth, across denominational lines, small ones, large ones, mega churches, secret churches, houses of prayer, God, those gathered in threes and fours, underground. Raise them up, God, and let her shine brightly. May you be glorified through her, God, in Jesus' name.